Hey guys, just want to do a quick video. Uh, I gotta apologize right off the bat. Um, people are cutting their grass, everything else. I live in Georgia. Uh, yes, it's the end of February and it's supposed to be, I think, 84 degrees today. I guess I'll rub that in. Um, doing one of these mesh grills for the Dodge Ram. Got a 14. There's plenty of videos about how to take the front grill off, how to take this off. Um, it's not very hard at all. There's plenty of videos. I'll skip all that. I'm kind of halfway through the install, but kind of want to show you guys this. Um, on my grill, it's got these little baffles. Uh, what it does is, when it's in place, it directs the air to this. If you don't know much about this, these little fins here, from what I've been reading, is when you actually... Video's not too good. Sorry, guys. Cell phone. Anyway, um... When you actually open throttle, these things actually close. Um, what it does is they say it makes the truck more aerodynamic um, and the wind goes around instead of through and that's supposedly how they work. You don't want to take them off. There are videos I've seen. There's an actuator obviously that opens and closes them. Um, if it doesn't read the resistance in it, I've watched in a video, you get an engine light and everything else. Me, I'm not going to mess with it. Um, basically, the video is to give you a little couple pointers. Um, again, on this old the OE factory, you'll have one of these on each side. And again, it directs the air to those vents. What I've noticed is, I've actually already have one installed. Um, you'll never see it. I'll just put a screw on each side. There's a bunch of clips around the outside. That's what all this is. Um, I cut all that off because one, you won't see it. And two, I have to clear the new grill. Um, a recommendation for you guys. Plus, I think it personally looks better. Um, here's one I have already installed. Um, the problem I have... Um, back here. Right back here is your... I believe they call it a tip -em, your fuse box, there's electrical wires. Um, you don't want that stuff getting wet. And if you ask me, if Dodge is putting this here, you know, there must be somewhat of a reason. Um, all your rain can get through here with that mesh grill. Uh, you know, the rain's gonna get behind it. But anyway, um, again, what I did was I cut all the clips off that hold it on the factory one. I held it with two screws like this side. And then what I'll do is you can see it kind of there's, I don't know if you can see it, but kind of matches up you want to make sure this piece ain't touching the fins because then the fins won't open and close um, and it kind of gives it somewhat of a factory look um, it's not the best looking right there but when you put the grill on you don't even notice the rain will stay away from the electrical um, and that's pretty much that's it what I'll do is pause the video I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done um, if you want, send me a question, whatever, I'll send you the link. I've seen the one where they just take it and they cut out the honeycomb and put out an insert. Personally, I didn't like that. These here, they come. Already all the clips connected back to the OE. Um, holes and everything else. You can see like the three, oh, I'm sorry, four connections. Same thing here, I unbolted this to get those fins but I mean it's the same exact thing you never know it's OE there's no really modification on their end but I added these back to the truck uh, I'll pause the video show you what it looks like when it's done very happy with the grill the way it looks um, I'll be back in a minute